Morning folks. So blessed with another beautiful day here in northeast Scotland at Tappanoth Farm. And uh, Rosa and I are out in the market garden in the polytunnel. And we're tending to some of our young vegetable plants that we're growing for this year's CSA market garden. Today we're going to be in the tunnel. We're going to be looking at our tomatoes which were sown a couple of months ago and have been in our bedroom, the warmest place in the house. And uh, it's time to either pot them on or even plant them out in their final position in the polytunnel now. We'll also be looking at the seeds that Rose has been sowing over the last few weeks. They're all germinating incredibly well in the heat of the polytunnel. And um, we've been challenged to do a video by uh, Benny from Norway. And that challenge was to list our top five seeds that we're growing this year. So we're going to have a look at them, plus all the other seeds that we're growing for this season's veg box. Behind me here are the tomato and also the jalapeno chili plants that we've got. We've been raising them on our bedroom windowsill, which is a pretty sunny spot. And the main reason was because it's actually quite warm as well in there compared to the low temperatures we've been getting out here. But as you can see, especially with these ones in the front, which are the more cherry tomato variety we've got, they're um, very leggy. They're also starting to flower, which we're a little bit worried about. So we've decided to bring them into the polytunnel where there's obviously a lot more light. We're taking a bit of a risk because um, it is getting down sub-zero temperatures in here at night. Um, so we're going to fleece them, but we decided to plant them in the soil. Partly because we've run out of space on the benches, but also because the soil in here seems to be maintaining an okay temperature. So as long as we fleece them over um, to, to kind of regulate against the drop in the temperature in the air at night, um, it should be okay. So fingers crossed, we're just going to plant them out now. We've got to clear a bit of uh, salad from the bed and we're going to add some of our lovely compost we dug out the other day from the chickens and uh, we'll be broad forking to make sure that we aerate the bed um, so that the roots can really penetrate down raking it so that we um, get a nice kind of level um, bed and yes and then we'll be planting them so we're quite excited to get started with that one thing we have to work out still is how we're going to be supporting all of them um, so I think we're probably going to do a, a, a wire or something across all of our uh, these crossbars in the polytunnel and then we'll be supporting them upwards. These are both bush varieties of tomatoes so we won't be pruning them or training them up a wire. We'll, we'll get on with that now. Right folks, uh, that's the start of the bed prep for the tomatoes. Um, we've pulled out the old crops, which was some kale and some mustard leaf. And um, then we did a bit of raking just to get rid of any of the crop residue and um, any stones that were present in the soil. And then we've broad forked it to try and relieve any compaction. And um, now Rose is just watering the soil. It's so dry in here. The soils in the polytunnel are probably some of the worst we have on the market garden. The soils got really mixed up and compacted when we brought in the excavator to uh, level the site to build the polytunnel on. So it's quite dusty, quite compacted soils in here. We've realized how dry it is. We're watering it to be able to get the water um, through all the layers. We're just going to put on some compost. We're going to put in some some of our um, sort of shop bought compost as well as our homemade compost to really bulk up the organic matter and try and improve the water retention of the soil.
that's a good few layers of compost put in. It's boiling in here, so we're gonna just go and have a quick refreshment break. Okay, so we're just mixing in the compost that we dug out of the chicken run and we're using forks to do that, just kind of rotating them round as we dig it in uh, and that's a way of incorporating it into the first couple or few inches of soil um, and then hopefully we'll be almost ready to plant the tomatoes. All right, we've decided to actually go ahead and plant out these tomatoes. We're a tad worried about it because it is still getting pretty cold at night time here in Scotland, but we're just gonna risk it because we don't have a dedicated place to keep a large amount of young tomato plants. So we're gonna plant them into this bed and we'll, we'll hoop the bed and give them um, a covering of agricultural fleece, maybe even two. And we're just gonna have to hope that everything is okay. <laughs> Where'd you keep your trowel? Oh. <laughs> they look great right now, but it feels like summer right now. Yeah. I think just double fleece. Yeah. Or even some polythene. Oh, yeah. We've got some I saw earlier. That's true. We could do a little polytunnel in here, couldn't we? For now, yeah. So we could do that. Yes. Alright folks, that's the tomatoes planted, um, it's the evening now, a beautiful evening here in Aberdeenshire and um, we decided we would put a piece of polythene covering the row of tomatoes uh, just as a safeguard against any frosts and to take the shock out of being transplanted so they're all safe under the warm polythene. We're just doing our evening chores, the goats have had the hay and their tree fodder and chickens eggs have been collected and we've watered the seedlings behind us. Got some salad? Yeah, got some salad for tonight. Dinner. dinner. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Right, so we while we're having our beer, we're going to have a chat about seeds because we've been nominated by a fellow YouTube channel, Benny from Norway. We were asked to talk about our top five seeds that we're planting this year. So we're gonna have a quick look at what we're growing and try and choose five that we're really excited about growing this year. Yeah. I have no idea. Do I light to one? I don't think so. Let me try that one. They're both the same. Okay, so our top five seeds of 2019. Uh, number one is actually one we haven't grown before, but we're really excited about it. It's 
delicious broccoli santé 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 f1 um, and this is actually although we grow a lot of calabrese for the boxes which is the variety a variety that basically grows a, a head what you mostly find in the supermarket um, these are like a form of purple sprouting broccoli so with lots of small shoots um, but instead of requiring the really long growing season that it would normally require uh, which wouldn't really work for us with our veg box this one's very fast growing so we're hoping that this could be the answer for us to be able to include this in our boxes so watch this space and we'll let you know how that goes and then the second one is uh, chogia beetroot so we did grow this last year and they were beautiful these are the chogia here all of these so we're planting them at a very close spacing uh, this is a bio-intensive method that we follow here um, and that means that they create the leaves create a kind of canopy shading out the weeds and you can basically fit quite a lot in um, to each bed so we'll get a lot of this is for kind of a small size of beetroot we're planning and the greens on these are really tasty and really tender and then obviously the main thing about them is that they're candy stripes so they're kind of pink and white um, so very jazzy our third top seed uh, for this season is another one that we haven't grown before and this is the blau shocker uh, p i hope i'm saying that correctly uh, it's a mange too who as in eat everything is what that means in french also if you leave it to mature it becomes uh, a pea that can be podded um, so it's kind of got a dual purpose and it's great for us because often you know we go through phases where we're not picking all of the peas for example and some get left with the mange too that we uh, had before we would end up with kind of just overgrown mange too which weren't that great whereas these ones will turn into a delicious pea that our customers can pod so these should be great, and again, uh, watch this space, we'll keep you posted. Uh, Did you say that they're purple? The most exciting thing about these is actually that they're purple, so um, we're very excited about that. I've said excited too many no, times. That's fine, we're excited about this. We're excited also that these peas are purple. <laughs> purple peas. Purple peas in a pod. We love purple peas in a pod. Pop, 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 pop. Pick a purple pea in a pod. Number four, uh, carrots in general. Um, James is really the carrot man. He's very good at making uh, great carrots. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> this is just one of the varieties that we grow. I think this was the tastiest one from last year. It sweetest. was a bit more, it was about double the price of the other seeds. Um, but it is really sweet, uh, grew really well. And we've actually sown some already um, and they're in the polytunnel over here. They've germinated now. They're under that fleece to protect them from the low uh, evening temperatures that we're getting still in here. But they, they've germinated well um, and we've actually got a little bit of a shot of us sowing them maybe just over a month ago. So we can have a look at that now in this quick flashback. Dilly, dilly. So Rose is in the polytunnel at the moment just harvesting um, a bed of spinach that we've had slowly growing over the winter because we're going to be putting in a crop of carrots into that bed. We're really hoping we can get an early start on our carrot crop so that we've got carrots to be able to offer our veg box customers um, when the season starts in June. And our fifth favourite uh, seed for 2019 is, I'm going to say the Aurora Large, actually I think it's called Very Large Bush Tomato. And it is, well, very large for the kind of tomatoes that we can grow here in Scotland. We grew them for the first time uh, last year. I don't have a seed packet because um, we already sowed them and they ran out and threw, threw the packet away. Um, but the we've, we've sown two, they're both from real seeds, the Latar or Later and um, Aurora. And Aurora is my favourite because uh, although the Latar are really tasty, they're a kind of large cherry tomato, um, which I've you know, definitely grown fine before. But these, the Aurora are a really big, juicy, beefy tomato that because it's been bred, uh, I think those ones were from Siberia. Um, it's basically uh, really good for a short season. So you can get these really large tomatoes. They do ripen in this uh, part of the country. Um, and in not that hot a temperature 
um, and they're not mealy at all. They're really tasty, made loads of sauce out of them last year. So that's my definite top, top one. I love tomatoes, so yay. So that was our top five seeds uh, for 2019. Um, I'm sure they'll be popping up uh, again in our later videos as they grow and we harvest them and put them in our veg boxes. So um, it'll be exciting to see the progress with them. We're just gonna go off and have our beer now, enjoy our evening. As always, if you enjoyed that, then please hit subscribe, tell your friends, um, and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.